Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to pre-fill fields in a Zoho form based on which link someone clicked on to get there. Let's say you want to create a lead capture form and have it send leads to your CRM, but you want to embed the same form across different types of marketing efforts so you can measure which ones were the most effective and generated the most leads. That's what Zoho Forms allows us to do. We can generate several unique URLs for the same form, capturing important information about our lead and automatically saving it to their lead record in the CRM. Let's get started. Okay, I'm here in Zoho CRM and I first just wanna show you how to set up the integration between CRM and Zoho Forms. Forms is a separate application, but both Forms and CRM are available as part of the Zoho One subscription bundle. So in CRM, we click Setup, and then Marketplace, Zoho, and we scroll down until we see Zoho Forms, and we click Setup Now. You can see on my screen it says Manage because I've already activated the integration. Okay, so now I'm here in Zoho Forms, and I'll click New Form. Then at the top right here, I'll select Create CRM Form. Now, if you've done the setup in your CRM in the previous step, now you're going to see, you should see your organization name right here. And then you select your module. I'm going to select leads. And then you select your layout and click next. Now we select the CRM fields we want to fill with our form. You can see the system automatically checks the mandatory values here. So I'll add lead source and lead source detail and click next. Now here we have a screen where we can map the fields in CRM to the fields in our form. And it's creating these fields automatically based on the fields we selected on the previous screen. We can also change this at any time while we're creating the form. So I'm just going to leave the defaults now and click next. And now we give our form a name and we select our form type. Call it uh, contact info. And what you put here on this form title is going to go into the URL of your form. So make sure you name it something that's client facing. Then we look at our form type. Our standard is where there's multiple fields on a page and card where there's only one field per page and then you click next through each field. So I'm just gonna leave standard view for now and click create form. Okay, now it's brought me to this integration page where I can always go back to and edit the field mapping right here. So you can see Zoho Forms has native integrations with several of the Zoho apps and also with other popular apps like Google Sheets, Excel, and Salesforce. But for now, I'm gonna click Builder. And you can see here we have this drag and drop builder where we have different field types that we can add and we can edit our existing fields and control the overall design and display of what the form looks like. So let me grab a name field here and put it here. And I like this one better than the first name and last name on a separate line. So what I need to do is map those CRM fields to this new field that I've created. And we're gonna go back to the integration tab. And I wanna get first name and last name. And instead of those single line fields, I wanna map them to the name, first name, and the name, last name, and set these as mandatory because they are mandatory in our CRM. Now that that's done, we're gonna scroll down and click integrate. But before we do that, we have these actions here, and this is some helpful things to just think about before you your form goes live. You have automation process and management. So if you have workflow rules in your CRM, for example, and you want this lead to trigger those when it comes in, you have to check this box. And then you also have the upsert record action, which means if you have a record with the same first and last name or email, for example, instead of creating a duplicate, it will simply update the existing record. So we'll click that and we'll use the email field to prevent duplication. And now we'll click integrate. Okay, we've, we've successfully integrated. So we're gonna go back to the builder and now we can delete 
the first name and the single line fields that are first name and last name. I do get the warning message, but since I haven't captured any records with this form yet, I don't have to really worry about losing any data. The other thing is that I don't necessarily want the person who's filling out the form to see these fields down here that are CRM fields. So what we can do is hide these fields, go into the properties and scroll down and click hide field. And I will do that for all three of these. I also want to change the default value of this lead status to form submitted. And it, these, these values are dynamically pulling from the CRM when we did the integration. So I can change it here and that will be the default when it comes into your CRM. It will come in with the lead status of form submitted. Then maybe I decide that I want to also add a company name for this contact. So I'll add a single line field here and we will change the field label to company, save it. And then we'll go back to integrations. And we will map that field to the company field in our Zoho CRM. and click integrate. So let's preview the form now to see how it's gonna look for the, the viewer. Now you can see we have our visible fields and our fields that we've hidden do not show up. But the form does look a little bit boring with a basic default color scheme, but we do have themes we have pre-built themes and you can also make a custom theme. So I made a custom theme here for Beckman Collaborative and I'll just click on that and we'll use that. And we'll say apply theme. Yes. So now let's access the form again and we can see it has our brand. It looks great. It has our colors. So that's looking much, much better. So now Let's show how we can add parameters to this URL to uniquely fill the hidden fields. Back to our builder screen and we go to settings. And under the general, we have field alias prefill URL. So we'll click configure now. And now we can select our fields and give them an alias, which is just what's the abbreviation that's gonna show up in our URL. So we'll just abbreviate it, source, and we'll say detail and we'll click save. So now that we've created these aliases, we can create a unique URL where we define what the lead source is and what the lead source detail is. So let's say you have a webinar series and you want to have a unique link to the form on each webinar. So you want to capture the lead source's webinar and the, you want the lead source detail to be the name of that specific webinar because you want to be able to track which webinars, for example, were the most successful. So now let's click generate prefill URL. So this is where we assign our values. So we'll, this is our lead source from our CRM. It is a drop down. So we'll select webinar and for our lead source detail, we'll type in the name of the specific webinar where this link will live. So let's say it's how to train your dragon. Okay. So now down here, our unique URL has been populated. Now let's copy it and we'll paste it just so we can come back to it later. And let's create another one for a different webinar. Let's say we have another webinar. When we can create a unique URL for that webinar. And we'll paste that. So now let's go to each one of these URLs and submit the form 
and see how the leads get captured into our CRM. And then we'll do it for the other one as well. And click submit. So now here we are in our leads module in our CRM, and you can see we've created from this form two brand new leads with the information we entered with the correct lead source and the automatically filled lead source detail of which webinar they watch. So now when we report on this, we can pull all these leads. We can not only know the correct lead source, but also the correct uh, subset of that lead source. So this is going to be really beneficial in our reporting when we have all these webinars and we want to track which ones are generating the most leads or the most revenue. So that's how you use the pre-fill URLs in Soho Forms. Please comment below if you have any questions or contact Beckman Collaborative for support with your Zoho Forms. Please subscribe to see more videos like this and we'll catch you on the next one.